Sunday morning comes and I can't see straight There must be something wrong, I need that beat again If Sunday morning comes and I don't feel right Let's push this body forward to the edge of night You give me love and then you take it away You give me love in the morning, baby You give me love and then you take it away You give me love and then you take my name is J.C. Brooks, and welcome to Farr's tour of public art here in Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, Anish Kapoor's Cloud Gate. This thing was placed here in 2006. That's 110 tons of polished stainless steel. So Cloud Gate is a 66 foot long, 33 foot tall funhouse mirror, basically. You walk underneath and you get a completely different perspective on the city and on yourself. And also, my favorite thing to do here is walk around it and try to find the seams because they are polished down almost to nothing. It's kind of incredible. And it sounds really, really cool inside here, both a sonic and a visual sculpture. Go a niche. See, I turn up when I want to. Well, this feeling, I mean, it's representative of the flow of mercury, and you kind of do get this sense of infinity when you're inside it, almost like, uh, well, you're wrapped inside of a mirror, which is at once beautiful and frightening. I don't feel right. So, here you have it. It's Anish Kapoor's melding of heaven and earth. It reflects Chicago's skyline and the clouds above, sort of like opposites coming together to form a sense of completeness and wholeness. I would like to introduce you to 106 of my tallest friends. This is the Agora sculpture. These were all sculpted by Polish artist Magdalena Abakanowicz. We're down at the south end of Grant Park, and each one of these guys is about nine feet tall, and they're made out of iron. One of the things that I love about it is that they're kind of hollowed out, so it almost feels like a costume, something that you can step right into and maybe wear the lives of 106 different people. It also feels like a forest, you know. I, uh, I liken it to being a kid at a cocktail party, winding through a forest of legs. And uh, of course, that forest feel is kind of highlighted by the bark-esque texture all over these things. that Chicago used to be known as the hog butcher for the world? This mural behind me depicts the Amalgamated Meat Cutters and Butchers Workmen's Union. William Walker painted this mural in 1974 on the former site of the union's local office. This is one of the most powerful labor murals in the country. The left side shows union reps and workers confronting bosses demanding a union contract. The right side shows workmen of all races at the slaughterhouse going about their jobs with a quiet dignity. This acrylic on masonry work was restored in 1998 thanks to the Chicago Housing Authority, which now owns the building. I love this piece because it gives such a visual representation of the Chicago and of the power dynamics at play. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's called 10,000 Ripples by artist Indira Freitas Johnson. And right here, we're in Hyde Park amongst a gathering of rising Buddha heads. In 2013, 1,000 of these fiberglass Buddha heads were placed around the city in 10 different neighborhoods. The artist's intent here was to evoke a vision of peace in a city that is, well, racked by violence. 
You can see these Buddhas in repose rising everywhere from grass to concrete to dirt. They were placed in parking lots, libraries, alleys, abandoned lots. Not only does it span the entire city instead of just being a single piece in a single place, but it's here to evoke the idea that you can find peace, especially peace in a public space. Finding peace in nature, no matter where you are, whether you're in a park or whether you're out in the city, is, uh, is a wonderful idea and not something that occurs to people all the time. Hey everybody, thank you for tagging along. This has been Farr's Tour of Public Art in Chicago. My name is J.C. Brooks and I gotta tell you, I got a brand new album out this year. It's an ode to this great city and you should check it out. It's called The Neon Jungle and it's available on iTunes, Amazon, pretty much anywhere you can find music. Be safe. Now we're on fire.